today we're going to play with found percussion instruments where the sound is made from either scraping, rubbing, scratching, or some sort of applied friction to an object. Um, tin cans. A lot of people have tin cans around their house and different tin cans have different ridges. We're going to use these ridges in here. Um, I'm going to use this tent stake and just hold the tin can like this. You have a sound going away from you, sound going back towards you. You can have a strike that's muted or a strike that's not muted. You can play around like that. Um, different tin cans have different types of ridges. They're going to make a different sound. So you can play around like that too. I like using a tent stake as a tool. Um, I also like using pins and things like that. Um, here's a comb, just a plastic comb. Can use those. This is an ice scraper from a car to get the snow and stuff off. It's broken so it ended up in my found percussion box. Um, so you can hold it you can even like say take two things together hold both of these and then you can see how you the sounds intermingle. You can play around like that. Um, here are some shells. Someone gave me these shells a while ago because they sound really cool. You can play around with things like this as well. Um, here are some filing things. I think um, my wife said you put um, papers in them or something. I'm not quite sure. I have them because I saw them like, ooh, I can scrape those. You can play like that. You can even say, taking this one, um, and play it with two different mallets. Notice that whenever I kind of try to scrape it, I'm not holding it, it tilts over. But um, that's why a lot of these scrapers you hold with one hand and play with the other hand. Um, let's see what else we got here. Tape cases, and you're old enough to remember tapes, and these are just empty tape cases with some sandpaper and duct tape. So you can play it along with that. Um, these, um, some toothpaste. The toothpaste I like comes in these boxes, and the boxes have ridges. So, of course, I like to take them and... You can play with those. Um, I just found this out in the yard today. I mean, I've been holding on to it for a while, but I totally forgot I had it. And um, just a pipe, I don't know what it's from, like a vacuum or air conditioner unit or something. You can play with that. 
Um, here's a CD case. Hold CDs. As you can tell, I, I still listen to a lot of CDs. Um, I think they sound a lot better than digital music. Or I mean, I know they're digital, but um, I just feel like they're a little bit warmer than listening to an MP3. So this, that's just with my fingernails. You can even play with two. Turn it over. Play around like that, which is kind of reminiscent of some washboard playing. Um, which, whenever I do perform on the washboard, sometimes I usually use sharpies. You can play here. So it's getting that opposite scraping where one hand's going down while the other's going up is a good practice. The other thing to try to practice is accenting and then coming up on the accent when you're going down on the accent with this hand coming up with this hand. You can play around like that. The Sharpies are nice. I keep them in my drumstick bag. Um, cheese grater, going back to the tent steak. It's kind of fun to play with, it gets a cool sound, kind of like um, some of the Latin instruments. Um, we have this uh, the dish drainer. So you can play around with that. Um, it's a cool sound. It's a child gate that I keep against my wood-burning stove so whenever I have young students come through they don't fall and hurt themselves and burn themselves. Um, I got this thing back here I found. Um, someone was getting rid of it. I found it in the trash and I was like, ooh, sweet. I could probably make some fun sounds on that. So let's see. Can you get this closing sound? get that sound when it's closed, when it's open, so you can play around with those sounds, and you can so you can play around with something like that as well. Um, and then like these notebooks, just if you don't have much around and you just have notebooks, you can try to get, I like, you can have these different sizes. Sounds different than. So you can play with that type of thing too. Um, if you're traveling around and you don't have anything with you, you can rub your hands together. You can do things like that. If you have facial hair, You can kind of scratch your face and get that sound too. I hope this helps you understand how some of these instruments that you get the sound by scraping, rubbing, and things like that.
have fun.